We were alive during an unusual time, an epidemic. Not many people would have thought they would be around for such an event, and others simply wish they weren't. It's a terrible time, with many people getting sick and forced into quarantine, while others are taking it upon themselves to self-isolate, including me. But isolation can be incredibly lonely, making it the perfect opportunity to catch up on movies you may have missed. So today on Top 5 Scary Videos, I'm gonna be counting down our list of the top five greatest horror movies nobody watched part four. Before we begin though, be sure to stick around until the end of the video where I'll be responding to some of your comments. And with that, let's jump in. Coming in at number five, Crawl 2019. Crawl is a 2019 disaster horror film directed by Alexandra Aja and starring Kaya Scordelario and Barry Pepper as a daughter and father who, along with their dog, are hunted by alligators after becoming trapped in their home during a Category 5 hurricane. What is more fun yet terrifying than giant gators plaguing the waters during a hurricane? Absolutely nothing. Not only are our characters attempting to survive a natural disaster, but they are beasts that wish to feast on their flesh, hunting them down in a flooded basement. This movie was watched by by very few people, but absolutely deserves your attention simply because of how entertaining it is. Critics called the movie an action-packed creature feature that's fast, terrifying, and benefits greatly from a completely game Kai Scodelario. Crawl is a fun throwback with just enough self-awareness to work. Quentin Tarantino even went as far as to call Crawl his favorite film of the year, which is a huge achievement coming from such an acclaimed director. I also watched it last night and it was absolutely terrifying. Can confirm. Coming in at number four, Ready or Not 2019. Ready or Not is a 2019 comedy horror film directed by Matt Bettinelli Olfin and Tyler Gillette. The film stars Samara Weaving as a newlywed who becomes hunted by her spouse's family as part of their wedding night ritual. Ready or Not is a fresh and entertaining take on the horror genre, as well as being incredibly absurd while focusing on the core theme, which is family. The movie is presented to us as a mashup of sorts between The Purge and Clue, and is executed to perfection, making it a bloody good time, with enough blood-drenched violence to last you a year. Critics praise the movie, called it smart, subversive, and darkly funny. Ready or Not is a crowd-pleasing horror film with goodly entertaining bite. Peter Dubridge from Variety went on to write that, this deliciously diabolical sophomore feature, which hails from the resourceful low-budget trio known as Radio Silence, represents a departure for indie distributor Fox Searchlight, which has a real winner on its hands. That rare get-out-like horror movie capable of delivering superficial diversion alongside deep cultural critique. Authors Stephen King and R.L. Stein, as well as horror directors Guillermo del Toro and Michael Doherty, all went on to tweet their enjoyment and approval of the movie. Coming in at number three, Apostle 2018. One of many Netflix movies on our list, Apostle is a 2018 period horror film written, directed, and edited by Garth Evans directed and edited by Garth Evans, and starring Dan Stevens, Paul Higgins, and Michael Sheen. The movie takes place in London in 1905. Prodigal son Thomas Richardson has returned home, only to learn that his sister is being held for ransom by a religious cult. Determined to get her back at any cost, Thomas travels to the idyllic island where the cult lives. As Thomas infiltrates the island's community, he learns that the corruption of mainland society that they claim to reject has infested the cult's ranks nonetheless, and uncovers a secret more evil than he could have imagined. Now, you may be getting some serious Wicker Man vibes from that description, and you would be correct. It is Wicker Man 2.0, made for a younger audience. Well, that is my interpretation anyway. However, Apostle is far more gruesome and violent than the aforementioned movie. The movie starts off slow, but please stick with it because it quickly descends into a bloody good mess that will leave you squirming in your seat. As I said before, the film is reminiscent of The Wicker Man, with Variety agreeing, calling it an homage to the film. Coming in at number two, Velvet Buzzsaw 2019. Velvet Buzzsaw is a 2019 satirical horror film starring Jake Gyllenhaal, Rene Russo, Tony Collette, and John Malkovich. The movie is set in the contemporary art world scene of Los Angeles, where big money artists and mega collectors pay a high price when art collides with commerce. Now, this is yet another team up between director Dan Gilroy and actor Jake Gyllenhaal, who previously worked together on the thriller Nightcrawler, with the pair reteaming for Velvet Buzzsaw, a very different type of movie, but one that will shake you to the core, especially if you are an artist. When the artwork of a dead man is discovered, everyone in the bougie LA art world attempts to capitalize on it, as they would. However, the major problem is that artists begin to show up dead, with the artwork seemingly being at the center of it all. 
This is one of many Netflix originals on our list, with the movie having its premiere on the streaming service on February 1st, 2019. The movie polarized critics, with Emily Yoshida of Vulture writing, Writer and director Dan Gilroy is drawing from the same well of bitter, morally compromised Los Angeles that he did for 2014's Nightcrawler, but Velvet Buzzsaw, as gleaming and sun-drenched as Nightcrawler is dark, is even more of an infective and even more operatically heightened. However, Peter de Bruges went on to call it one of the most cynical movies of all time. Whether that is a compliment or an insult, I'll leave that up to you. And finally, coming in at number one, we have The Perfection 2019. The Perfection is a 2019 psychological horror film directed by Richard Shepard, starring Alison Williams, Logan Browning, and Stephen Webber. The movie centers on a troubled musical prodigy, Charlotte Wilmore, who seeks out Elizabeth, the new star pupil of her former school, Back Off, resulting in the two musicians being sent down a sinister path with shocking consequences. I should preface this point by saying that this is one of my favorite horror movies of recent years. I've watched it far too many times and have definitely watched it within the last week. Anyway, I digress. This horror is a Netflix original with Williams quickly carving a niche for herself in the horror genre, what with her stunning performance in Get Out, which was a surprising term for her usually comedic actress which was a surprising term for the usually comedic actress. As any horror fan will know, it is incredibly tough to get an exploitation movie right, with you having to find a happy balance between class and crass. Some fail in the process, but thankfully the perfection shines. The movie takes us on an emotional roller coaster, implementing useful rewind moments that we never see coming, in turn throwing twist after twist at us while we're left to sit in silence with our jaws on the floor. The film is beautiful, filled with classical music that is perfectly paired with shocking scenes of violence and murder. The perfection plays with your mind in all the right ways, with you never quite knowing who the real villain is until the final few moments of the movie. It also demonstrates to us the lengths people will go to protect the ones they love, as well as their music. The perfection is quite honestly perfection, and shines a light on both Alison Williams and Logan Browning, who both do a superb job of playing broken musicians who are desperately seeking love and family. Well, there we have it. Do you guys agree with our list? Were there any horror movies that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below, and perhaps we can do a part five. Before I go though, I just want to respond to a few comments from one of our last videos. Top five scariest corners of the internet. Jonathan Jordan said, the scariest thing on YouTube was Keegan's mustache. I'm gonna tell Keegan you said that. I can confirm that in person it was just as terrifying. Weird Archive said, a sure sign of spring arriving is Lucy's Banff tattoo showing up, also expecting Candyman or something like him to show up with all their perfectly perfect perfection chants, and cue Lucy whispering, be my friend, or seven days, or whatever. That is very true. It is rare that you see my Banff tattoo, but it is getting warm. It'll probably be peeking out some more. And yes, me saying perfectly perfect perfection is exactly how you summon me, so continue doing what you're doing. Filmatic42 said, There are some incredibly dark corners of the internet you never want to stray to. Me looking up with a pen and paper? Go on. I kinda knew going into the video that you would all look it up right after, but I respect that. If I had to look it up, you should have to look it up. Ward Alien Video said, Lucy, someone drew on your arm. That would be a tattoo, but thank you. You sound like my dad. Jay Willis said, Turtleneck Lucy is the best Lucy. Well, Turtleneck Lucy seems to be the only Lucy these days gotta protect the neck, you know? And on that note, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another scary vid. And until next time, see you later.